Ashley, what is our second major topic today? Next one up today is from Tariq Mufasan. Hi, John and co. I was just reading that Sony is loading up to do a Cinderella movie with uh, Camilla Cabello in the lead <laughs> role. So besides the obvious question of why would you get a non-actress to be the lead in a major film, I also have to ask, isn't Cinderella a Disney property? How is Sony even allowed to make a Cinderella movie in the first place? Thanks. Okay, I gotta tell you right now, I'm gonna admit something. I'm gonna admit something right here. It's gonna make me look stupid. That's fine. I'm not afraid to look stupid. I had no idea who the hell Camilla uh, Cab Cabello was. Na, 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 na. Yeah, once <laughs> once I mentioned that <laughs> to Anne last night, she goes, na, 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 na. I'm like, oh, she's the one who sings that. Okay, actually, that's a cool song. I like that song. I never heard of her at all in the world. All right, whole bunch of questions in there. Good questions. Let's start breaking them down. Why would you go out and get a non actress for a lead role in the movie? One of the biggest idiotic things I've ever that that the movie business does is sometimes they go and get people who have who have no business being the lead roles in movies and doing that. However, what there is a little bit of asterisk to this is this is that in the stories that we're reading about this, it sounds like this is full on musical, and if a lot of the quote unquote dialogue of this movie is going to be sung then I kind of, I, 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 it becomes an extenuating circumstance that maybe I can see the logic behind it at that point, right? Like for instance, Taylor Swift is going to be in Cats. It's a full-blown musical. Getting somebody who's an established singer and a performer like Taylor Swift, well, then that makes more sense. Do I want her, you know, being the lead role in The Taming of the Shrew? No. But do could I see her in something like that? Yeah, maybe. And depending on the, the concept here, this could make perfect sense. So let's lay a little bit of the groundwork. Here's the actual story of what Variety is telling us from all this. Singer-songwriter Camilla Cabello will star in writer-director Kay Cannon's retelling of Cinderella for Sony Pictures. Cabello will be involved in the music for the project, which grew out of an original idea from James Corden. The film will be produced by Corden and Leo Perlman through their uh, few... Full Well 73 Banner. The new Cinderella will be a music-oriented version of the traditional tale of the orphaned girl with an evil stepmother. Sony is putting the project on the fast track for production. Okay, so that gives us a little bit of an idea about why would they get Cabello for it? Well, if it's really going to be totally music-oriented, then I can kind of see the logic at that point. The other interesting question that they bring up in the email, though, Robert, is, wait a minute, wait a minute, time out. <coughs> Cinderella? It, uh, ain't that Disney? How is Sony able to do Cinderella? Here's the basic Coles notes on that. And every situation is unique, but it's basically this. Disney does not own Cinderella. Cinderella, technically speaking, is public domain. The, the basic story of Cinderella is public domain. Anybody can make a Cinderella movie. You, today, can go out, pick up a video camera, get some friends together, and, and start making your own Cinderella movie. Here's the catch. What you cannot do <clears throat> is use any material from Cinderella. And, oh, we lost Rob again. This happens to Rob all the time. I don't know why. What you cannot do is get um, Cinderella and do things with Cinderella that were done in the Disney incarnations. Okay. Here's an example, okay? Do you remember a couple years ago, uh, James Franco did that Oz the Great and Powerful movie? You remember that? Well, it was being done with a studio that didn't do the original Wizard of Oz, but it was all based on the book, right? The original book of Wizard of Oz from, you know, decades and decades and decades and decades ago. So what James Franco and company were allowed to use was anything that was in the original book and anything new that they themselves wanted to bring to the table. Anything that was in the original book and anything that they themselves originated or brought up or created themselves, that they could use in the movie. What they could not use is new things that the movie Wizard of Oz introduced. Because there were a few things in the movie Wizard of Oz that wasn't in the original book. Those things James Franco could not use. Those things James Franco uh, could not take advantage of and, and James Franco's company could not use at all. So in this case, um, <clears throat> in this case, what they can do is making this movie with Sony, the Cinderella movie with Sony, they have the ability to use anything that's in the original Cinderella story, but nothing that was original to the Disney animated movie. 
and then they can add all their own stuff as well. Now, what stuff Disney created in their animated version, I don't know. So I don't know what stuff is going to be off limits to Sony, but whatever it is, they're still going to be allowed to do their own version of it as long as they don't use that original stuff. What do I think about them doing a Cinderella movie? I don't know. I mean, the thing is, they just Disney just did a live action version with Lily James. Uh, Lily James. They just did a live action version with Lily James um, just a couple of years ago. That was fantastic. Should you really be making another version now? I don't know. It. Uh, I feel iffy about it. I'll be honest with you. I feel iffy about that. And I'm not sure it's something they should do or not. But hey, if it's a full musical idea, I'm I'm entertained by James Corden. I think he's a really entertaining guy. Let's see what kind of an idea they have and we'll give it the benefit of the doubt for now. 